In this video, we'll show you how to use the ROS2 bridge component to subscribe to ROS2 topics and use them in RT Maps. Then, we will publish other topics from RT Maps to ROS2. Before starting, see you on support.intempera.com. Search ROS and select the article with the ROS bridge version you want to use. In this article, you will get all informations you need to download and install your ROS bridge package. Make sure you download and install the correct version of your package for the OS and ROS version you are using. Let's launch the replay of some ROSBag file in ROS2. We can now list the available ROS2 topics. We have two image topics and one point cloud topic out of the ROSBag file. The image topics have type compressed image. The point cloud topic has type point cloud 2. Let's start the RT Map Studio. Register the ROS2 bridge package. Create a first subscriber component on the diagram. Specify the expected message type as compressed image, category sensor underscore MSGS. Then specify the topic name to subscribe to. The same is done for the second image topic. And for the point cloud topic. The images will be received in JPEG format. Let's add JPEG decompressor components and connect them together. Let's add image viewer components for simple display. And a simple 3D viewer component will be able to display the point cloud. Now, let's run our application. Warning messages in the console tell us that the point cloud has a varying size in terms of number of points. Hence, let's adjust the output buffer size on our subscriber. The three topics are now available in RT Maps. Let's apply some image processing and publish the results back to ROS2. We insert here a simple edges extraction component from our OpenCV package. Then a ROS topic publisher component. Specify the published topic message type, image in our case. And the topic name that will be published. The new topic appears in ROS2. Let's start rviz2 to visualize our new topic. We can now change a property in RT Maps to modify some settings in the processing algorithm. That's it. Now you know how to use the ROS2 bridge component between ROS2 and RT Maps. See you in the next video.